This is a CBS News special report. I'm Erica Hill in New York. The space shuttle Endeavour is about to lift off from the Kennedy Space Center after a delay of more than two weeks. It is headed for the International Space Station. On board a six-man crew commanded by astronaut Mark Kelly, his wife, wounded Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, is there to watch the launch along with other family members. We want to bring in CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood, who joins us from the Kennedy Space Center this morning. Bill, good to have you with us. So many eyes focused on this launch this morning. Yeah, there really are. You know, this is the 25th and final flight of the shuttle Endeavour, and of course, the next to last mission we're ever going to see out of these winged orbiters, which have become such technological icons in this country over the last three decades. A huge amount of interest, both because of the last flight of Endeavour, and also, as you said, because of Commander Mark Kelly and his wife, Gabrielle Giffords, who's here watching this launch. In terms of that interest, uh, some estimates go as high as as many as half a million people expected uh, to watch that. Uh, this is going to be a 16-day mission, and we're just gearing up. We saw the countdown clock there. We should point out we're going right. to stop talking as it gets a little bit closer so we can listen, and it's very important to do that. Right, Bill? Right. They're getting ready to start the main engines. Let's listen to George Diller in launch control. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and liftoff for the final launch of Endeavour, expanding our knowledge, expanding our lives in space. And that's Mark Kelly, Erica, acknowledging the fact that Endeavour is rolling about its axis to line up on the proper trajectory up the east coast of the United States. And these are key moments as we watch this build, too, and, and listen in to hear what they're saying on board the shuttle, correct? That's right. This is Kyle Herring in Mission Control at the Johnson Space Center talking. And, Erica, the sound has just now gotten to our broadcast position, shaking the building, shaking the windows. It's always a, an impressive sight to see the space shuttle take off and to feel it as you do when you're here at the launch site. Yeah, we've heard it described a number of times, but there really is nothing like feeling it in person, I imagine. No, there's not, and uh, right now they're throttling down the main engines as they go through the sound barrier to kind of ease the stress on the spacecraft. They'll throttle those back up in a few minutes, and we'll hear that call from Mission Control. As we listen for that. And that was Commander Mark Kelly responding that go at throttle up simply means that all the systems are working properly, uh, the telemetry shows no problems with the three main engines or guidance or any of the other systems on the space shuttle. And that is exactly, of course, what we want to hear. We're also watching the live picture there as we can see it. Uh, the boosters will come off about two minutes in. I know you had mentioned to me earlier. What exactly will they be doing on this mission, Bill? Very important mission. They're going to be carrying a $2 billion particle physics experiment up to the International Space Station. Uh, that's one of the scientific highlights uh, of the mission, as well as spare parts and components that the station is going to need when the shuttle stops flying, things that are too large to launch on smaller unmanned cargo ships. And we're coming up on about uh, 10 seconds left in the burn of these two solid fuel boosters. Uh, they'll burn out and peel away, and we should see that. You can tell looking at the plume that uh, they're sort of dying out as we speak. And as we watch that, and standing by for separation of the and there solid they go. rocket boosters. This camera right here is mounted on the external tank of the shuttle looking <laughs> back down, but you can see booster separation. All is normal. All is continuing to and, go well. And that is great news. Bill Harwood, appreciate you being with us. Appreciate your expertise this morning from the Kennedy Space Center.